What are you doing, that Lviv girl? I am. Uh, I'm signing a card for my friend in the Hobart. This sounds intense. <laughs> oh, here. It's beautiful. It's pretty. I can't whistle through my mask at all. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hi guys, I want to tell you about some experience I had uh, when I visited Drohobych that shows uh, culture and character of its people. Uh, basically, I lost something and I contacted a local business and they were really uh, went through a lot of trouble to try to help me and they were very compassionate. So my friend Olya and I, we went to Drohobych. Hi guys, Olya and I, we are going to Drohobych. Drohobych is a city outside of Lviv, it's about two hours away. Why you should care about this city? Because it's a small, cozy uh, city with a beautiful architecture. And in Lviv, there are many people who actually have roots from Drohobych. They grew up there. Uh, and then also Olya is also has roots from Drohobych, which is why we are going there. What can I tell you about the city? Administratively, it's one of the largest city in Lviv region. It has about 80,000 people. Uh, from what I've seen during my research, I saw, I've noticed that it has it's very intellectual uh, and very smart, cla classy city. Historically, it had it had a route that connected Drohobych to Austria. Uh, it was developing, it was manufacturing salt, and at some point they were doing oil, and now they have oil refinery. They also have a GL in the most amazing building, uh, and um, they also have uh, a church that's been made with no nail. Uh, it's all wooden, and it's in UNESCO heritage. A uh, beautiful, charming city center. It's rainy today, but I will I will try to show it to you.
tomorrow is actually Ukrainian Christmas Eve. Uh, so, yeah, so it's one of the last days before the lockdown. We will enjoy it by doing this trip. Uh, it's about two hours away from Lviv by bus. You can get on the bus on the train station, on the side of the train station uh, to the right if you face, face it. Yes, the price is okay. The roads are okay. It so happened that we were walking down a really long dark street in the middle of the night and I thought, wow, that would be nice uh, as we are walking to film video. Uh, and uh, I reached out to my back and I lost my mic, which is really a big deal for me. Uh, so I lost it and then I was very upset and I came back to Lviv and I was thinking, what should I do? Uh, I was ready to go back to search for it. But uh, as we were walking down the street, I remember there was this sign rent of tvs tvs for rent and i thought it's so funny who will take tv for rent but i think what they meant they are repairing uh, television sets so i called the owner of this uh, little business and uh, he was actually in truskovets but he got his friend his female friends maybe like uh, from a neighboring business to go outside on the street in the morning to search for this mic so mic was like this right it was little <laughs> black wire uh, and he was like, do not worry, we will help you. And it was just Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve on the 6th uh, of January. So, <laughs> wow, it was amazing. Uh, so they did not find it, but I really appreciate uh, his uh, compassion. And um, I got a new mic and more equipment. And uh, thanks to my viewers. Uh, and and I am going to send him a postcard. It's been uh, a while, but I think it's a good occasion to send him a postcard. The spring is starting, it's March 8th, and he can have a little hello from Livia from me. Uh, that's um, a sign of appreciation. And uh, please let me know if you had similar experience in Ukraine, uh, if you lost something or if you had some trouble and people just uh, from goodwill uh, just uh, helped you. Please uh, say it in a, uh, please write it in the comment section. And oh uh, yes, this is March 2nd here now and everyone is really, really pretty. Uh, and it's really nice weather. <laughs> Look at this nice car. the bus is not too filled on a weekday uh, definitely go and explore different cities around Lviv uh, because they all have their really rich history uh, and really worth seeing so if you want some change of mind if you want some something new go go see travel around Ukraine bye please like this video and subscribe to the channel bye Beautiful.